I think most people would agree that Vivid Voltage is a much more impactful set and expanded than standard right now, and there's no better example than Shedinja. False Swipe isn't a new attack in the Pokemon TCG, you know, there's already a couple in standard with Zatu and Kartana, but they all have their drawbacks. In expanded though, this Shedinja can wreak some havoc. Yes, it's a basic Pokemon and that might seem a little weird, but its ability, Shell Survival, says put this Pokemon into play only with the effect of Ninjas cast off Shell ability. And if you try to build a deck just with Shedinja, you can't because you cannot put this face down as your active Pokemon. So it's a basic, but it's not a basic. So it's a little bit weird there. So that is why you play things like Silent Lab and the Garbotoxin Garboder, which shuts off that ability. Unfortunately, I I looked at it, I tried it. If this Pokemon has a tool attached to it, each Pokemon in play, each player's hand, and each player's discard pile has no abilities. Unfortunately, it doesn't count for your deck, so you can't use Nest Ball. That is unfortunate, that's a big drawback, but you play Mysterious Treasure and Quick Ball, so it's not that huge of a problem. And more benefits of expanded are Hypnotoxic Laser, that's a guaranteed poison, and maybe you put them to sleep, and then you have the Poisonous Puzzle Garb. So there's a lot of ways to poison your opponent's Pokemon, and I mean, worst case scenario, if you use Life Squeeze, your opponent has 10 HP remaining. You can clean that up with Oracorio, Supernatural Dance, for each Pokemon your opponent's discard, put one damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. That this Oracorio has been good ever since Night March was good. This just shuts off Mad Party. This helps you clean up some knockouts. So the deck as a whole is really good when it works. When it doesn't work, it's not that great. All in all, this is essentially just an Ultra and Cosma deck, but I switched out the Ultra and Cosma for Shedinja and I tried to make some changes. Uh, it works really well when it works. When it doesn't work, I mean, you're not beating anything, but if you can do two Life Squeeze, Against the Tag Team or a VMAX deck, you win. So let's see if I win. And we have a Wobbuffet start, and as you can see, I can't play the Shedinja, so that's unfortunate. But I can throw the Wobbuffet up front, I can stop them from playing their abilities if they have any abilities turn one. And it's kind of unfortunate that Shedinja is a Psychic type, it would be so much better if it was literally anything else. Uh, yeah, let's put the Lucky Egg there, got the Trubbish, I could Quick Ball for another Trubbish, but I think I'm just gonna hope that they don't have it. No, I mean, they're not gonna, they're not gonna Lysander and do a whole bunch of things. I mean, they're pretty much stuck here, right? Because Dark Cloak isn't activated. Uh, they got Piers, so they're gonna be pretty slow. I think this could be an easy win as long as I can set up, you know, the... Oh, it's Eter oh, this crazy person's playing Eternatus in Expanded. That is nuts. And there's Scoop Up Bet. Okay, so they're playing Eternatus in Expanded. They don't have their abilities. They have Black Market. They have Capture Energy. They're doing a whole bunch of things. I don't play Pseudo Wudo. That's fine, but I mean, I'm going to shut off their abilities, and they don't, they don't want that. All right, so there's Power Accelerator. That's fine. They put down the Probat. I... I I think they, yeah, okay. So what I can do here is, I mean, I can't feel blower that anyway. I think I just go get a garb, lucky egg the garb, shut off all the abilities, put the Shedinja down, and just see if I can put them in a situation where they concede. So yeah, I got to put the lucky egg there, Shedinja there. I think I just get another Shedinja. Uh, honestly, you know, it, the Shedinja, the cool thing with Shedinja is that you only need to shut off the ability once. Like, it just needs to be on the bench. You can't... How, how do I explain this? You can... The ability only prevents you from putting it onto the bench. After that, it doesn't matter. Once it's on the bench, it doesn't matter. Hey, that's cool. They're, they're shut off. And this is another aspect of the deck that I really like, is you have that ability lock. You know, I was thinking... Why not just play the Ninjast? You know, why why bother with Garb at all when you can just play Ninjast? And Ninjast does, you know, Ninjast puts the Shedinja into play from your deck. It's easily searchable, all that good stuff. Why would you bother with Garb? Well, I mean, look at this. <laughs> I'm facing a deck that, I mean, if this deck was able to just set up normally, they'd destroy me. I would not beat this deck. Shedinja only has 30 hit points. They can scoop up their zigzagoons all day long. 
But now you see what's happening, and I can easily win this now. So there's the Trubbish. I will I will not do that. I will not research. I think I'll teammates for... What do I want a teammates for? Two energy or another Shedinja and an energy? Because I can research next turn. I got Field Blower. Maybe I do Lucky Egg and... I, okay, let's get Twin Energy and let's get Shedinja. You know, let's just clear that out because... It'll let me use some things. I got that. I didn't get the hypnotoxic laser. That was a mistake. I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. I was I outthought myself there. So I will Don't want to float stone. Don't want to do that. I think I'll just life squeeze. Um actually no, I'll I'll do that. I'll go get the Oracorio. Because I made a huge mistake here. So I'll get the Oracorio. Okay, that that's a problem. That that was my mistake. They can take a knockout. I made I made an oopsie. So what I'll do is yeah, I'll just I'll just knock it out with supernatural dance. Oh. That's interesting. Never thought I'd see that. So I'll get rid of Trubbish and Orcorio. Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of the Trubbish. I don't know. So many things going on at once. Okay, so I'll just float stone the Shedinja, get the Oracorio back, and hopefully, well, that's going to be a knockout. So I don't need to expose the Oracorio yet. So I can just put it back in the deck. So that's that. I am down just one Hypnotoxic Laser. So what do I do? I'm not, I think I just put everyone back in the deck. Yeah, I'll just shuffle everyone back into the deck. Trub, or Corio, Ninja. So I just I just made a dumb mistake. It happens. I got tons of tons of stuff that I can do here. Okay, so I won't. I mean, do I even do anything now? I guess I put the no quick ball trubbish. What do I do? Goose my N. I don't need the N, so I'll just go get a Shedinja. So I'm just going to spread everything around here. I'm going to put the Lucky Egg on this Shedinja. going to retreat, and then I guess I put that there. And ball's in your court, dude. <laughs> so th this is one of the cool things with the deck is that, you know, I, I went down on prizes partially because I'm an idiot, partially because this deck is, is slow to begin with, and yeah, they just conceded. I have a third, my, my MVP is a 30 hit point basic that you can't play. And they conceded because I shut off their abilities. They're playing Eternatus VMAX and Expanded, which is just a crazy play on its own. But I got, look at this. You can build, this is a budget deck. You know, get rid of the comp search, maybe switch it for, you know, a dowsing machine or an ultra ball or just something. Computer search is just, it's an expensive player's, you know, dream card. The rest of the deck you can build super cheap. Just cut out the computer search. This is this is just so easy and so cheap to build. Make some changes, improve it. But you just saw that. I they conceded. They weren't gonna win. That's amazing. Let's go to the next game. Alright, so I'm facing Senti Scorch in Expanded. I think I can win this one. I think I just don't do anything, just pass. You know, I have a guaranteed garb next turn. Uh, you know, I only play the one Silent Lab. You you really only want to play the Silent Lab on turn one. Uh, you want Wob Effect to be your starter. You can never start Shedinja, so that kind of sucks. Uh, please tell me you're going for a Hearth or a Heat Factory, but the problem with this deck is that you can't start Shedinja. You'll, you'll never be able to start it. That's just the way the ability works. So you have to, you know, if you want a turn one Shedinja, you have to play Silent Lab. Whether or not that's worth it is up to you. But you have to play Silent Lab to get that Shedinja turn one. Otherwise, you have to rely on Garb. So I was thinking, you know, what if I play that new Snorlax? That gives you seven cards in your hand and ends your turn. There's also, also things like Rotom Bite, which just fills your hand to six and ends your turn. So there's a lot of cards you can use. The Alolan Vulpix, I was looking at that. It's a free attacker. I think that would also be really good. So there's a lot of options you can use to improve this deck. This is... This was literally slapped together in five minutes. I played a few games. I did really well. 
So I figured, may as well make a video. You know, I can't stream because my internet is so bad. So I'm really just testing in videos and I'm seeing how it goes. And oh, I can literally win right here, which is hilarious. So do I have enough cards? Because I have to, there's a Trubbish. I just do that, do that, do that. Um, what is more likely that I get a, no, because I, I can't put the Shedinja down. So I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going for it. I will get the Garb. Okay, that's interesting. So put the Garb down. So I need to end into a Shedinja and that energy. That's it. Shedinja, and I got it. So that's a well played. Uh, actually, no, I don't have the Hypnotoxic Laser, so I don't got it. But what I do got is I got that. So what's the Field Blower situation? I'm fine on Field Blower, so I'll just do that. I'll get Shedinja. Wow, the prizes. Uh, I, got a, I got a story to tell you in a second about these prizes. Okay, so I will do that. Put the Lucky Egg there, Garbotoxin, they don't have any abilities, and if they want to hit into me, uh, sure, let's do that. You know, I could have done it where I put the 10 damage on it, but then they just evolve, and I don't know what that was, but <laughs> they just evolve, and, and they have the Field Blower, of course they do. Okay, they put the Crobat down. I guess that's just to make sure they don't lose. Because um, they, they didn't feel blow. Oh, okay, they're just in radiating heat. Because I guess they misclicked on the, the float stone. So I guess I just hold the hand. Or do I retreat and put 10 damage on him? I think I just hold the hand. You know, that's how it is. But I've just had some horrible luck. The first game I played with this deck was against ADP Zation. I cut out Pokemon Ranger because I figured this can deal, this can do Life Squeeze three turns before ADP does Alter Creation and it's all, all of its other stuff. So I can beat that deck. The problem is, is that I prized every single Garboder and I prized, I think, two Shedinja. Hey, let's see if you can do it again. Okay, so I will... Yeah, put the Lucky Egg there. Let's see if you have another Field Blower. You know, in Expanded, you have to play at least one Field Blower in Expanded. It's a question of, do you play two Field Blower in Expanded? I play three. That's probably too much, but I play three because you need to be able to Field Blower your own Float Stone to use the other Garb, and it, it just helps. Okay, so this might just be a win. Again, if I get a Hypnotoxic Freaking Laser, okay. There's teammates. Perfect. That's pretty much game. Okay. There's Mysterious Treasure, so there we go. Let's go get my other Shedinja, because I prized two. Prizes in this deck, you're gonna get screwed by prizes so much. You're gonna you're gonna hate this deck by the time you're done with it, but then you're gonna win and you're gonna be like, it's all forgiven. So hypnotoxic, hypnotoxic. Yeah, because I don't have any others, so let's just do that. I have a knockout on whatever they put up next turn. You know, yes, I know this. Oh, I don't have Dimension Valley. Are you kidding me? I did it again. I, ugh, I just, I get too ahead of myself. But that would have been a knockout. I would have just gone and got Dimension Valley like I should have gotten. Oh, man. Outthinking myself here. So I have to go get... Dimension Valley, or I can just, you know, attach the twin energy. What's my energy situation? It's fine. Oh man, you know, you get to you get to filming a video and you're doing all this stuff. It just all sort of compounds. Okay, so I'll put the garb up front. It's still poisoned. That's good. If I can just top deck a Dimension Valley, everything is forgiven and forgotten. I did not, but I'll do that. I'm not taking any chances here. So I'm going to be very thin on energy to end the game, but that's fine. I'm just going to end. If I get a Dimension Valley... Oh, I, oh man, I was going to be like, I'm a genius. No, not a genius. So I got that, that. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do the Float Stone there. And I'll Life Squeeze. And so there's two prizes. 
They can't play abilities. Man, you know, imagine if I was better at talking and playing Pokemon cards at the same time. I would just be the best player on the planet. But I got I got Shedinja, I got Energy, I got Dimension Valley, I have no talk to Laser, I have everything in my hand. If they somehow knock out this Shedinja, I have everything in my hand to win. They don't have their abilities, they've had a really slow start, but I mean, I will take this win. Imagine, I mean, if I'd played perfectly, they, they bench the Crobat again. That's two times. Uh, yeah, the, I'm taking this win. I'm considering this a win. Even if they'd gotten that Senti Scorch VMAX, let's say they'd have three prizes left and I hadn't misplayed with the Dimension Valley, then I would have three prizes left. So we'd be tied on prizes. And then I would need to take two knockouts and they would need to take three. And I like my chances. Oh, that's bad. I don't play any bench barrier shenanigans. So Swoop Across does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So every Shedinja is a liability. So every Shedinja uh, must remain in my hand until the absolute last second. Okay, so that's that's fine. We got Lucky Egg, we got Dimension Valley, we got Hypnotoxic. So I can't put the other one down. So I guess a Hypnotoxic. There we go. I leave that spot open. So I don't think I have another Trubbish. I'm down two Trubbish. I don't need to play the Lucky Egg. I'm taking two prizes. So I just Life Squeeze. And I hope that they don't play an N or anything. Because if they do, I am... I'm going running. Okay, so... Literally the perfect hand. As long as they don't do anything, I win. I'm so glad I didn't overbench my Shedinja because then they would just play the Salamence and it would be game over. But you're seeing how this deck handles three prize, two prize decks. You know, even two prize decks don't matter. You know, Ultra Necrozma, it's really good, but if it can't take two shots on... Oh, so that's game. That is game. So you're seeing two wins. I've had two really tough games. I played against Mad Party. That was my last game. It was against Mad Party. That's an auto win. Unless you prize everything you draw nothing i i dead drew for the first six turns of that game it was horrible i would have won i could have just recycled my oratorials over and over again but i i dead drew for the first six turns of the game and then oh it was just it was the worst but normally with that oratorio this is an auto win against mad party supernatural dance is amazing you play two rusty stretcher you're winning, you know, they put a Marsh Shadow down, that's when Shedinja comes into play. Uh, so were they just playing a standard deck and expanded with a couple, a bit of spice? Yeah, they... Okay, so they were, they were playing some things. They, they had Acerola. That's hilarious. Didn't come into play because I just knocked everything out and I missed play. Let's go to game three and I will play perfectly. So this is the matchup here. Can I beat ADP? We're going to find out. I think I should get... I think I should get a Shedinja. The problem here is that Lucky Egg doesn't really help me in the long run. So what I'll do is I'll do that. Uh, I mean, do I poison and try to put it to sleep now? That might be the play here. So let's do that. I'll empty out my entire hand. If I just had a supporter, hey, they're asleep. Awesome. So I'll do that. If they decide to take a knockout, there we go. If I can... Hey, they're still asleep. That's awesome. The, the secondary effect of hypnotoxic laser, hypnotoxic laser is that they might fall asleep. That could buy me an extra turn. If I top deck an energy, I take a knockout on this ADP. If I top deck Dimension Valley, I take a knockout on this ADP. You just saw why Silent Lab is in the deck. If, you know, this is one of the changes I would make with the deck is you put more supporters in here. I think the supporter count's really low. I don't think that's good. Uh, you know, I, I know it plays versus Seeker, and, you know, you play Seeker and Expanded just because it's so good, but if you don't have any supporters in your discard, then versus Seeker is completely useless. So I think you you just up the chances of not having a horrible first turn. I've You know, that Mad Party game where I just dead drew was horrible. I uh, can't retreat if it's asleep. So I think... I think you just want to make sure you have the best first turn possible. Oh, dear. Of course they had the switch, but now they have a Zacian, 
Oh, geez, I was going to say, now they have a Zacian stuck in the in the active, but I mean, they kind of do. They they got a Swell, a Floatstone, and Double Dragon Energy, so they got it. They had the perfect starting hand. They have nothing after that, uh, so they, they have a choice. Do they Intrepid Sword, or do they... What do they do? But, so yeah, if as long as they don't have an amazing top deck... Oh, here we go. So... Do I use Life Squeeze? I guess I do, right? I use Life Squeeze and... Can I... I don't think I can win. I think I'll be a turn behind because... You know, the only way is if I just get my supporter and I draw some cards because I can't really do anything. Oh, man. They just drew the absolute insanity. Okay, so what I have to do here... They're, they're only taking two prizes. If those are nothing cards, I can win. So I'm getting seven cards. If I get Counter Catcher... Okay, so I have Counter Catcher. I can... I think I can manufacture this. I will need... Fuel, oh man, I need Field Blower, Dimension Valley. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Okay. So what do I 100% need? I need to get rid of... I need to get rid of the Chaotic Swell and, um, yeah, the, that's fine. I can get rid of that. So I ditch those two. I need them to have two Pokemon in the discard, or I can just Hypnotoxic Laser right now. So if I teammates for, I think I just, I can't use Oracorio. Well, I mean, I can. Okay, so I get Counter Catcher. I have Computer Search. If I wasn't recording right now, I could do this, but there's just too much happening right now. I'm sure with the combo, I could do this. I mean, I want to hit the Zation, but they don't have enough in the discard. So maybe a Mew would be a really good idea just to help clean those up because the Oracorio is only good. Uh, yeah, do I just go get Oracorio? No, I'm not getting Oracorio. Let's go get that and that. I mean, I need Dimension Valley. Sure, let's let's just do that. So I think that was probably the wrong play, but I will ditch the comp search, right? Right? Uh, okay, so Dimension Valley is going down. I need to Quick Ball that away. I need to go get Oracorio. You know, I I know you're probably just screaming at your screen right now that I, I completely did this wrong, but we got that, we got that, we got that. So yeah, I, I screwed this up. I, I had this whole fantasy in my head that I was just going to get it. I was going to do everything, but I think I'm going to be a turn behind, and that's unfortunate. You know, they had, they had literally everything in that opening hand that they needed. They they had zero wasteful cards, and then their top deck was the exact card that they needed. So, if they don't draw, if they don't just have everything they need, I think I win this one. But you know, what are they going to do here? They have to power up a backup attacker. If they can't get their metal saucers, oh my. Do I even need to speak at this point? Oh my. How am I supposed to beat this deck? I mean, they have they have one Pokemon in there. The only way I could win, you know, there's no way I win. There's a Crobat, that doesn't matter. So they, the only way I win is if they just can't find an energy. <laughs> Why do I even bother talking at this point? I mean, my my goodness. And they didn't put another Pokemon in there. That was my potential win condition. So, you know, I don't regret taking out Pokemon Ranger. I regret them drawing literally everything they needed when they needed it. That was nuts. Um, yeah, they can just retreat. I don't have anything I can do. That's just game over, but I will do it one more time just to show you. But I think, I think the ADP matchup, regardless of Pokemon Ranger or anything, is still bad. That's why I think the you need to you need to figure some things out. Ultra Necrozma is better in the ADP matchup, but 
I mean, come on. Did you see their turns? Every single turn, they did something and they had exactly what they needed. How am I supposed to compete against that? So I will... Let's counter catcher. Because they can just retreat. Yeah, let's just counter catcher the fresh one. Let, let's do that. Let's, let's do that. Man, that was... And I didn't even get an energy. That is... That's just sad, but I mean, against every other deck that is an ADP, that is multi-prize, I win. Like, you saw it for yourselves in these videos, I, it destroys VMAXs, it destroys tag teams that aren't ADP, it would have won this game if my opponent didn't get every single card they needed every single turn. The deck is really good, of course I'll leave the list in the description, make some changes, improve upon it. It's just against other single prize decks, you absolutely cannot win. You're you're not doing anything against other single prize decks. That's just the way it is. They're going to go get a Guzma, so I will concede. They won, but I really like the deck. It is just, if you're looking to make a budget deck and expand it that can just go through some people, this is a lot of fun. You know, let's say you're bored with Ultra Necrozma, but you have all the cards from Ultra Necrozma. Build Shedinja. Get your hands on some Hypnotoxic Lasers. They're... A pack or two each, I think. But, and then, you know, if you can afford a comp search, get it. Otherwise, switch it for like an Ultra Ball or something. But you saw the power of the deck. It can destroy VMAXs. It can destroy tag teams. It's good against two prize GX and V Pokemon. It's really good. Maybe up the supporter count. I really like it. I'm going to keep playing it and hopefully iterate on it to improve upon it. If you have any changes that have improved upon it yourself, please let me know in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.